All right. Hello and welcome, welcome to Defense on Series Session 79.5 2 Electric Bugado. I'm getting I'm getting the to Detroit vibes on this. Uh, another scene that I uh, don't want to like incorporate normal play, but I really need to get something else uh, going in the main game. So uh, yeah, we're doing this uh, little meeting, the little surprise meeting. Uh, well, off uh, the regular session. Hopefully, it won't take too long. But uh, essentially, this was happening right uh, right before uh, the the group investigates the um, the new portal that they found. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, I guess uh, Vicious Love and uh, Hyde are gonna be a bit earlier than the others. Alright. Well then, uh, so, are you gonna take, like, so, so uh, you, you said you're gonna take the rover, do you? Do we you? have to take the rover, because Bacon's okay. ship is currently being used to uh, hunker down Gryffinoi. Gryffinoi, okay, that's not a Gryffin. Okay, um, let's see, do you, do you both have a, have a proper rover? No. Yes, I don't. I do. Yeah, so you have to like, uh, you have to do, have to try to get that. That's actually pretty fine, all things considered. Could have made a cheaper rover, to be honest. It explains why we both arrived early. He had to go catch me, so he left way earlier than the rest of the people. Yep. Makes sense. Okay, feel free to drag yourselves out uh, onto the rover, and uh, well, I guess also drag out the uh, people you want to have with you. You have six seats. Okay, so is there anybody in your base you would take? Um, no, actually, Kelly's busy. Marsh is controlling the brace, and uh, I don't think the Nordics are ready for uh, after what happened recently for a combat operation. So it's just. Me, I mean, there is the experimental GG. It would be a pity mm. if it dies, but. Following this, though, if it does die here, we're like the closest thing it can infect. So. The other. Oh, yeah, and I'll bring Android here as well. Android. Alright. Because it's an android, why would you not? Mm. Actually, the android wouldn't even need to take up a spot. I know. So, well, I guess I you still have four seats for left. Sorry. My personal feeling would be I want to take the Polish man. Because if I was to leave, I have a feeling he's going to go after the fridge. Alright, so, uh, well, I guess you have to go and uh, squeeze him in, I guess. Yeah, and be like, yeah, don't worry, it's mainly exploration. There's going to be some new things to find. Well, well, with this lever, once you get, you know, once uh, Ams arrives with his ro uh, rover, you hear like a uh, strange, uh, like creaking sound from the rover. But don't worry, it's probably fine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got my F5, mate, I can enforce it. Alright. Yeah, I. If he tells me the, the Polish is coming, I would. I don't want him going to my base. He would eat my uh, space bird. So. Okay. I just rush outside. The other personnel I would like to take would be Maxwell and Tamir. Because I need Richard to hunker down on the base, and I need the black woman to uh, do the negotiations in the back. Okay, sure. With the syndicate, with the other syndicates coming. Alright. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck, we still need a six. Because I like to have a full six. Hmm. Hmm. Mean you don't need to. You could always just, you know, take uh, take Android and have it, uh, have it be in the front. Fair enough, fair enough. <coughs> Needs to be recharged, though, that's the phone. Yeah, you are, yeah. Just, just have it off. Yeah. Alright. 
Uh, does that sound good to you, Bacon? Yeah. Okay. So we're both in agreement then. All right. I don't know. You arrived early. Uh, well, you almost arrived early. But, um. Uh, that and you, uh. Oh, what's it called in English? Oh. Uh, like, uh, c communication system goes online. And, uh. You hear someone, uh, trying to contact you. It's a white Oh, well, it's a white engineer signature. If it's a void engineer's um, signature, does it look official? It does look official. Okay. Open communication. <coughs> and well, you're here. You're here, come on. And says, uh, hello, um, I'm Anthony uh, Bucker. Sorry to surprise you like that. I'm currently approaching Sirius. Uh, in order for some uh, inspection, and uh, well, I couldn't. We couldn't help but notice that. Uh, well, you uh, <coughs> you were on the way somewhere, and uh, you're part of the people I have to go through. So, I'm wondering uh, if we could meet up uh, real quick. I, w I need to get some permissions. I'm. Uh, well, I haven't just properly introduced myself, uh, but uh, I'm with the syndicate, and I have a nice compliment uh, of uh, void engineers with me that uh, were so friendly as to lend me their uh, communication codes. Can I do a perception empathy just in case, Rudolf? <laughs> sure, if it makes you feel more secure. Yes. Difficulty six. Yep. Hmm, that looks pretty good. Yeah, seems sincere. Although you get a feeling that he's a little bit slimy. He is a syndicate. It's expected. Pretty much expected. <coughs> Alright, sure. We can look over it. Alright, uh... Uh, pilot, uh, please land, uh, right there. And, uh, well, I'm g we're gonna send you our coordinates. And, uh, see you in a few minutes. Nice as a... Few nice as a book out. Book out. And, uh... uh well, while that happens, I just look to the fat Polish man and ask, Hey friend, I do I do hungry. He, he, he like looks at you. His like face is entirely red, and you seem like you know super squeezed it as a life support uh, part. And he says, uh, Look, "What?" Looks up, looks up viciously. <laughs> here, here, I have something for you. I take my bag of totally not styrofoam, definitely Cheetos, <laughs> all painted uh, with uh, like red MSG and some salt. And uh, here, <laughs> try them out. <laughs> it's so Oh my god. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's. You wanna, you wanna do a manipulation subterfuge <laughs> versus empathy? I mean, I, I, I don't know if he could pick that up right now. Like, he is. Oh. <laughs> let, let, let's see if he. Let, let's have him roll up with power first to see uh, if, he, if he can. Uh, Actually, resist anything at this point. Like I'm you, made, you made him. You made him abstain the whole time. D this man is hungry. So, but he's got a job to do, kiddo. I fucking can't. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what's the worst that could happen? Just uh, he's gonna eat the styrofoam. <laughs> this is hilarious. I mean, it has salt and MSG on it. It won't taste that bad. He'll probably like it. Uh. <laughs> well, that's just a fail. And yeah, he says, uh, th thanks, and, uh, just, uh, you see... 
<laughs> you know, he grabs the entire bag and starts shoveling it in. Like for like a handful at a time. Uh, and then you see him like muttering. Uh how how it tastes a little bit off. But it's fine. How how off does it taste? So, uh, are you asking that? Yes. Is there some I don't know. Not not like the originals. And yeah, do you, and he, like, he like he puts another you know fistful in his mouth. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, it's it's homemade. Uh, <laughs> trying to figure out how artificial it can be made while still tasting similar. Okay. Apparently, it was too artificial. Hmm. You do. <clears throat> you do realize we have it. Because um, those were Cheetos, right? Artificial Cheetos. We do have a simple cook bot in our base that could have possibly made that. I just opened my data pad and I just sent a message to you. It was literally styrofoam. <laughs> <laughs> and how I just. Under it, I sent a LOL. Fat fuck. <laughs> Hi, this just um. So sends back you bloody. <laughs> uh, I have to do. Feel, send it back. I have to deal with that when I get on. <laughs> uh, I actually forgot something. That man actually has blessing five. He got blessing yes, five. Yeah. You know, you know what oh, his blessing is? Everything must taste like food. No. He can always find food. What? He, he just found it. Okay, I guess I'll remove the bunch of styrofoam Cheetos from my in, uh, inventory. Yeah. Because well, the fat man ate them all. Yep. No, no questions asked. He actually asked for more after he's done. Uh, sorry, friend. That, that was all I had. Okay, I need to like you know Google what eating styrofoam does to per person. It's not good. Also, uh, someone's in my door. So I'm gonna be right back. It's ah, God damn it, bacon. Ah, <laughs> uh, also yeah, you did. Uh, yeah, you also did remind me. I'm gonna need to get that black trick. On the communication. I also love they contacted both of us. Um, um right here. He actually won't be too bad for him. Like, worse, it can. It, there is some chemicals on it, but worse, it can happen if it gets stuck on like so much or intestine because it's not just digested. And how fat he is, I'm pretty sure like all his stomach and intestines are already loose from so much he ate, so probably just come right off. I actually don't fucking research about this. <coughs> yeah, Alright, um, well. So, you figured out uh, what, what happened then? Uh, with eating styrofoam. Gosh. Why the fuck, why the fuck are there so many things about, uh, Styrofoam eating meal, uh, meal worms. What? Meal worms have squeezed past something organic. No, I googled uh, eating styrofoam and like the, the things I find are just about the uh, meal worms that eat, eat styrofoam. But oh well. I it's for later. He will probably be fine until the operation is over. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Uh, I mean, 
I mean, it's uh, it's for even a funny, even if it wasn't like addicted. Like every time he feels bad, he used like the healing glove on himself. He did. <sighs> Fuck. I need to get. I need to. God damn it! I need to speak to Max now to set a prank for Bacon. Mm. Oh well. Also, also, yeah. Just um, a good reminder. Could I also um, since we're in the rover? Yeah. Can I call the? My syndicate in my base, what was her name? Uh, Jocelyn. <laughs> yeah, call Jocelyn to be like, um, and just essentially just explain the situation. This individual appeared whilst we were driving. I have a feeling he's trying to, you know, get in. Because apparently we're one of the people that's supposed to be. Uh, she's very confused so. at that. I says, so uh, let's take really quick. And uh, she inquires of like how they came here. Via ship. But that's, uh, you know, she says like, it's really expensive. Uh, did you like hitch a ride or what? Um, <clears throat> from what it looks like, he looks like he did hitch a ride with a couple of void engineers. Oh, strange. Ask him. Uh, she asks you, ask you like a. Uh, she asks you uh, to, to um, you know, inquire with him. Uh, like how he got that ship. Okay, I'm just gonna write that in my notes with Alma. Inquiry of the ship. Mhm. Mm uh, when you did. Uh, let the other syndicates know. Did they send application forms or any of that nature I should be aware of? Oh well, like uh, I mean, if you if you if you look for it, you can probably find like some uh, last minute like uh, uh, like like uh, you know schedule uh, the you know schedule flights essentially. Like uh, not nothing has been long in the planning uh, and in the works. It's more something. It has uh, happened uh, well, rather suddenly. Okay. Hmm. I just thinks to himself, it's like, well, this is going to be one eccentric individual. <coughs> I would say he's got balls, but, well, it's a bit unorthodox, personally. The way he wants to get in quick. Huh. I see. Well. So, <sighs> how long would it, Eridoma, how yeah. long would it... How long will it take to get to the um to the location? Oh, like a minute or two. You probably oh, okay. don't. You probably you, unless you like you're inquiring anything. Uh, well, that probably eat up most of your time. Oh, fair uh, enough. And unless you want to stall, like you cannot just drive slow. slow. Uh, hmm. I, I would tell you uh, if if he's here to talk about uh. Like the offer of that I, me and the Syndigro about like people coming to uh, Gribinoia. Don't worry, just let's have the, this meeting. I can probably deal with it if he's uh, being a bit too pushy. Yeah. Okay. We'll go to this meeting and we'll speak to and we'll speak to him about the various inquiries because remember, I also have to build their accommodations as well. Oh, well, you know, uh, while you uh, to discuss, you can see in the distance uh, the ship landing safely. And uh, well, at least Ems would probably recognize it as a Pasteur uh, patrol engine. 
those ships uh, are essentially rovers but in the sky and uh, they they're pretty they they have a they're actually actually pretty good uh they can do dimensional travel and they can and also enter deep space that's actually quite impre how it just looks not very impressed but it's more like wow that's actually Wow, you must know some people then. Because you don't see those ships every day. Yeah, he has a ship better than mine by the uh, point cost. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's like, yeah, six, six, six people can fit in it and has like, uh, let's see. Alright, has also uh, the ability to achieve uh, uh, escape velocity and it also has active camouflage and atmospheric flight. So, yeah, the ship lands. Uh, so, if you want to do anything, any last minute pr uh, preparations, then it's now, otherwise. Okay. Uh, first of all, we better get our social skills up, boys. That's <laughs> uh, a bit. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. If it's a. Hmm. I'm not sure if you have time for, for that. They will probably uh, ask yeah, questions yeah, when he spent like a few hours buffing. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it, that's if we do a ritual, we can just throw our base uh, based once, once, right? Just instant effect. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could. Hmm, I guess you could try. So this man's a syndicate, and he's out to make some money, and he's gonna grab a pound of your flesh. I don't think. So, uh, buffing it's usually a tree for me, so. Let's use one woo power. It would be a yeah. It's a it's a level three, so it would be a six or so five at six with one woo power. Two. And so yeah, that's four. What I'm improving. Hmm. What do you, what do you think, Amps? Perception, so I can detect his bullshit. Yeah, or charisma. Ooh, how much is your charisma? Actually, I can go for perception. Five, uh -huh. charisma oh, okay. five, mm -hmm. and uh, then I would have remember two you left. Also, you also need to like spend some on, uh, on duration. duration. Yeah, I would have two left for uh, duration. Yeah, I think there yeah, are two to the scene. I, I would, yeah, because the scene's an hour, really. I believe. Oh, so, well, what, okay, what Kevin says, it's actually not that nailed down. Okay. But no, it's scene. Uh, yeah, so I temporarily have five charisma, five perception. Well, so I'm a bit better. But I can push it. A bit more presentable. My manipulation is already four. Charisma was weaker, so. Just hmm. fair enough. I don't blame you doing that. I'm sure. To get my mage book. Just to think of any combos. Yeah. Uh, the way I describe my uh, preparation is mm, time to talk with someone. Uh, let's snort something. <laughs> <sighs> no, no. Desk, no. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have anything like that. So uh, it wouldn't be snorting. I just uh, just take a syringe up. and just inject like between the. Uh, Foot finger, so people don't notice. Ironically <laughs> enough, I I think I could actually make cocaine with Meta Five. Actually, I mean, I mean uh, a pair of in there. I mean, I think I think it's more like a life uh, life thing, but uh, sure. Just in case you need some cocaine, I'm here on your side. No, no, it's just describe my my instruments. Yeah, yeah, I have outer fluids. I'm just injecting myself with outer fluids. We fucking got this cast. Yeah, cause what I'm just doing is uh just get my mini laptop and just do get my pencil and paper just doing it all around like Oh fuck. I already know what other fluid is. I'm probably injecting <laughs> myself with uh 
something rich in Tauren, if you know what I mean. Cover your eyes, Serbia. Cover your eyes, Serbia. Jeez. But yeah. Okay, you do so. You do your buffing. Yeah. Uh, what? What? What else? The other thing I will do is, is NHP one. What? What, what do you and want? You to know what NHP? You know what NHP one does. A lot, a lot, a lot of things. But the effect I'm going for is to spot the Ring of Truth. The ring he of can truth. lie, but it, he can lie, but there's only so much light he can switch, uh, stretch out. Okay, ring of truth. Is it a good thing? And how do you do that, or what? No, it's in the core rule book. Oh. It, it's basically entropy understands majors to see current, currently your possibility, oh. spotting flaws in patterns, noticing substance, telling details, and the person's speech. Oh, makes sense. And behaviors that suggest whenever or not she's willing to tell what she believes to be the truth. So that's the thing, that's the flaw. If they believe it's to be the truth, there's no, nothing can lie about that. What? Naturally? Mm hmm. Oh, it's just the thing itself. Yep, yeah, that's just literally the power. little cat keeps me out in front of the door I'm like no I know what you want mm. okay that's that's just hmm so probably better done like yeah you can rush just roll it so uh, during uh, um at, at, uh, oh, ju during the actual talks yeah like uh, you know just uh, just you roll it and yeah, then you do the difficulty for the uh, you know spot bullshit uh, uh, roll uh, fair enough Easiest way to do it. Okay. Then uh, let's go. Um, and you start uh, coming closer. And uh, they halt. Uh, and you see, like, uh, the man. Uh, well, actually, no, you don't see the man first. Like, you see, like, a bunch of, like, Marines file out and, uh, you know, secure the surroundings. And then you see a man uh, that uh, just is carrying like some, some weirdly ill fitting uh, spacesuit on. Uh, despite those things being always, uh, you know, adjusting to you uh, in, in some capacity. Mm. <laughs> you get that he like walks really awkwardly forward. Like he almost, you know, he, he almost like manages to like uh, jump a few meters every fucking time he uh, takes a step. You can clearly tell what? this man is uh, not used to the low gravity. Okay. Um, vicious lot. Uh, you want to get out the uh, robo in our spacesuits? <coughs> yes, yes. Let's go. I just go out in the, with my uh, assault rifle on the shoulder and just uh, go meet the man. Yeah. I just nod at the, the marines. They're not the back. An the android comes out. Then the hide comes out with a um. You know, since he's not a firearm expert, he'll come out with something that's a standard rifle, a standard like gun or rifle from the Marines. Standard equipment. <laughs> and I'm All guessing. Right. Uh, you know, we should, I'll, yeah, we should, I'll, tell, we should. I'll tell the others to to stay in the rover, just in yeah. case. Yeah, leave, leave the others in the rover. So. Yeah. Ah. Well, uh, hello there, uh, Mr. Mr. Booker. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, the awkward uh, meeting, but uh, you cut us during the middle of uh, operation that we were going to do. Ah, it's fine, yeah. it's fine. I, it's, it's, uh, it's really my fault. I'm... I uh, came here unannounced, uh, but uh, to be frank, I didn't know uh, I was uh, going here until half an hour ago. To half an hour ago. Half an hour. Mm. 
Uh, so you are... Uh, why why exactly are you here? Uh, did you hear the uh, messages that we were sending to uh, to members of the syndicates about our business proposals in Gribenai? Exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, we... A few mechanics uh, already mentioned like, some interest in it. Um, this uh, this woman, uh, Miss Simmons, has uh, made some interesting noise. Uh, I'm actually surprised that she didn't uh, that she didn't get uh, get get a post deleted. But uh, here we are. Apparently, the pitch was good enough uh, for the <coughs> for no one to step in and. Uh, well, here we are. It seems so uh, well that uh, I'm, I'm I'm the one chosen to take a take a first look of uh, what we can do here at uh, the pitch that Miss Simmons uh, put uh, got uh, mentioned a lot of possibilities for well really anyone who's willing to take the chance. Indeed, indeed. Uh, indeed. Well, it, it it's literally a completely linear planet. Uh, well, if you are here, uh, as we are currently busy, you can ask any initial questions needed, and uh, I can direct you to people that uh, could give you a prim preliminary visit. Just a very honest one, but you yourself seeing firsthand uh, the place you decide the potential before we even try to pitch anything for you. Mm. Well, uh, for the most part, I uh, I need uh, two things really from you. Uh, first of all, I need your permission, which uh, which does sound like you're fully willing to give. And uh, second, I need uh, uh, I, I need at least an overview of the plans eventually. I wanted to take a look today. Uh, to see about uh, what I can, uh, what 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 we can do. Personally, visit the, visit the site, which will probably take me at least a few days. So before I can ca come back with anything, but um, but so far, uh, that's uh, all I need. And uh, well, thank you, f uh, thank you for your guidance. So uh, I would get back to it. Uh, just like uh, send me some contacts that will be fine and uh, I, but I do have my own complement of uh, protection with me some uh, uh, so some of your colleagues uh, as you can see are fully prepared uh, for uh, for any defense that they need to they've also been uh, they've also been briefed uh, on the security situation as far as uh, I know. Yes, it it's good that uh, you have some protection with you. Uh, uh, out here in in space, you, you never know when something can happen. But it it wouldn't that wouldn't be the main issue. I would only ask someone to guide you to just uh, know the good places to show and things like that. Uh, but if you uh, already have your own protection, uh, makes things much easier. Hmm. That it does, that it does. Alright, uh, well, maybe you could like, tell me some of about some of the projects you're planning. Uh, don't worry, um, if you have already agreement here that uh, I won't be using any of those uh, ideas you're telling me. Um, at best I can propose some partnership and he like, hands you like, a contract. Yeah, I take the contract, I give a look. And uh, take a look to. And uh, yeah. while while reading that, I just uh, prepared the presentation I did to Futao and the others. The edit version I sent to Noah, and uh, after checking, do we need to roll or is the crown contract is pretty legit. Oh well, he can do you flaw. I uh, do. Well, you can roll that uh, intelligence law at a six, not a too difficult contract and not too long. Uh, if you don't have law, you can use your academics at an eight. I was right. a willpower on this as well. 
Yeah, I I don't trust uh, money grubbers, so same. Yep. Just need to do that. So it would be three for me. Book learning, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty fucking good. Okay. Yeah, let's start with bacon. Oh, overall, um, seems like a pretty standard, uh, but like box box standard uh, contract. You know, uh, it does indeed, uh, you know, it does indeed uh, handle in, uh, in uh, you know, essentially, uh, essentially don't don't steal steal my ideas, uh, memes, essentially. Uh, but it also mentioned that uh, you know, not only can uh, can you not uh, be stolen from, but uh, you can also not steal from him. It's uh, rather mutual, which is something he kind of omitted. Okay, but that is understandable. We just need to already have anything that it says as his idea. We already need to have it registered as our own idea. And yeah, uh, well, actually there's something about that. Uh, it also mentions uh, that, you know, it kind of, uh, it, it kind of agreed to, uh, you know, having this uh, recorded. So a meeting or? I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying that right now. Uh, while I sent the document to him, I will just brainstorm and already save to a database every, every possible idea we already had to make it register that we already thought about them. Ah, okay, that's fair. So, like, he won't cheat us with any obvious ideas that we already didn't read. Written. Yeah. 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 Uh, it does mention already a possibility to later to work together and uh, on, 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 you know, set ideas and... Uh, <coughs> and why does it, you know, not legally required under contract? It does... Uh, it do does have some vague uh, phrases about uh, future future uh, you know, cooperation although uh, you know this would be more something that Ems would pick up as he uh, well is uh, able to dig deeper into the into the layers of the contract and uh, well Ems uh, um, you know you would know that uh, this <coughs> it's, it's not entirely fair fair but uh, it, pro it it it's not too screwy overall. Like uh, it would be like very hard to make a case against you with this. If uh, even if you don't decide to go with uh, him as uh, you know the one you're cooperating with. Mm. But uh, you know if there's already a, a problem, this the, then it could be a problem essentially. Okay. So any little problem could actually be a problem. No, like, okay. and, and like, no, eh, no. The idea is, um, you know, if there's already like, uh, you know, so some problems in 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 the, in the projects you're doing, like, you know, like uh, you 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 uh, and if you're messing up along the way, oh yeah, then you know they, they might they might be able to you know use this uh, as an excuse. Yeah, as an excuse. Oh fucking hell! I look at. I was out reading it very thoroughly, but I look at Vicious Love and uh, I just tap him on the shoulder, tap him on the shoulder, and be like, whisper, be like, "Do you do need to remember? There is Co you need to remember. This is essentially banking if Cooper can help to secure the place very, very thoroughly." No, no worries, no worries. I'll have Sidious talk with him. Because I'm reading deeper, and this can le this can legit be a real problem in the future if he doesn't do it right. I can uh, I I can do the operation on Mister uh, Campos now, so we have someone we can trust. Okay. As long as we're both acknowledging this, as both we as both as we know what we're reading here. As both of in agreement, because do you agree to sign this? Yes, yes, sounds good. I just take, I sign it, and uh, well, uh, Mr. Booker, uh, 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 as, as Hyde pulls out, as Hyde is like, 
as I read the contract, it seems very fair and very equal. Yep. And uh, for uh, before uh, doing anything, here is the prim uh, like uh, a presentation we did to our superiors, to the voyage engineer for the initial plans. It goes already the most of the things, and uh, we can already have a common basis to to what you already know. So I just sent to him the presentation. That's all. Can, Thank uh, you. Feel free to check right now, and we can discuss as you are finished with them. Mm. Yeah, excellent. I uh, will. I will get on that uh, right after after our talk, and when we fly there. Yeah. And well, uh, first of all, um, what uh, what are your plans on 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 the, on the place? Let's get started with that. Maybe we can uh, find uh, some agreement uh, here. Uh, as you, you will see. My plan is, uh, I came to America after uh, some incidents. I originally was from uh, Serbia, not not most rich countries. And uh, the idea of reading American history of uh, great men making their own way, uh, you know, on the Wild West, men of uh, strength just coming in, finding a gold mine or starting a business and being rich. That's the idea, the vision I have for uh, Gribenoi. So I would be uh, offering uh, land, even some initial resources for any person that is interested in adventuring there and themselves going for uh, any businesses. And I believe that would uh, First, as a extraction, we already are doing some farming there. That would be the initial basis for uh, having a relevancy for the entire of the entire union. It would be very convenient to have a source of food on cities that is already a place of production and re shippers and repairs. It would make it a more important place, and soon uh, more people would live here, and uh, Gribnoi would be much cheaper to build uh, houses, even luxury ones, than building on space. And with that, I see a potential for very soon to turn into a thriving place with a population and growing economy. Hmm. Uh, he has scratch. Well, actually, it attempts to scratch as be it, but uh, the helmet is in the way, and it's just like clung. And he says, uh, well, that sounds mighty interesting. Um, in terms of resources, uh, what's, what's actually available on, uh, on Gribnoi? Uh, for or just initial scans in a very small uh, part of the available area. We found some few mineral resources, copper, but uh, those you can find on space asteroids. Uh, they have a good uh, source of life so fertile soil very forest with uh, quality wood uh, there is I believe there is even some uh, fuck, what's technocratic name for node uh, conflux there's uh, even confluxes there so uh, it's still uh, it, it it looks like something very big I would, Almost uh, Mars size from uh, the reports for our, our security ship. So there is plenty of space to do prospecting for uh, natural res resources. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just. Okay, he's gonna roll with subterfuge, and you can both roll uh, some wits. Uh, no, it's about uh, perception, empathy. Okay. Do you trust I'll be spending uh, willpower. I have six dice. Fuck, I need to up my empathy. Can I roll... Um, can I roll my Erite empathy? Uh, yeah, you that I have uh, intuitive and I spent a willpower point. I haven't rolled yet, so... Yeah. Uh, well, you can. You can. Yes, you can draw your LT and then 
We can reduce it just to see. Uh, a s oh no, it's level four, I believe, due to level one. Uh, over two roll. Damn. Okay. Action plus. So difficulty four. Four. Mm hmm. Okay. I looking very detailed. Okay. Well, uh, you spent a whip on this, right? Uh, uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, well, I guess in this case, uh, you both, yeah, you both would get ev get everything. <coughs> well, um, you seem like a, you know, he tries to like hide it, but uh, he seems really giddy, yeah, really giddy about that. Uh, well, especially when you mentioned the uh, the conflux being there. You know, it's like a child uh, finding that Christmas came early. Oh, I fucking imagine. <clears throat> and it says, uh, well, how do you exactly uh, get your resources and your building, well, you mean build, build, build building materials, rather, uh, to Gribnoi? Um... For now, it's being under uh, the budget of my uh, my base. I have a, a base here uh, where the portal is located, and uh, most of the initial resources are being from there. But uh, due to the large amount of wood, we are planning on uh, building an initial large uh, large infrastructure using the quality wood. Wouldn't be at the standard, but in my honest opinion, and I think the uh, the more uh, uh, old European wood look uh, feels much better for morale than standard technocratic buildings. Hmm, I see. I hear your point of view, but uh, I can see how that would uh, make sense from a static uh, point of view. Well then, uh, gentlemen, um, I think you already know the first uh, thing to do, what to do. I need to like hammer out uh, exactly how to do this best, but uh, I do believe uh, that my associates would be willing to invest in a little bit of a uh, construction uh, venture. <coughs> You'd be willing to. Uh, I would be willing to, perhaps, uh, make sure that uh, we can produce resources uh, on side of the raw materials. Available on Gribnoi. Just as an idea for now. But I do believe uh, if we get the. Uh, if, if there is indeed as much uh, prosperity and building in the future as, uh, as you two think, then. Well. I think uh, we could both uh, profit of, of each other. Of course, uh, <coughs> of course. Uh, well, we would uh, we would like uh, compensation for it, and of course, uh, we uh, we've uh, heard about your commission, and well, we would also like a plot of land for our investors. So even if uh, even the construction effort is not as uh, profitable as we hope. We'll still be uh, able to at least uh, hand something over to them, so they have uh, some assurance that this they won't be going here home and empty-handed. Well, uh, yeah. if they uh, contribute, like uh, with the uh, with the, what is written on the contract, the plot of land is is there, so uh, don't even need to be a. Uh, Direct and personal contribution. If you hire someone to clear the land, you have the right for the land. Well, also, uh, well, what they have in mind is more uh, that they're willing to, to uh, you know, put part of their personal resources towards uh, building up uh, this uh, well, construction business, and in exchange, they they would like a plot of land. Uh, um, this is not quite uh, contractually uh, put down yet, as uh, 
Uh-uh. Yeah, we can uh, uh, properly define that, but that would be that would probably be fine. And uh, con- contributions, even if doesn't work out, just having someone on the land would be a contribution for Gribnoi. And well, uh, uh, for per- people to you present you to land, uh, I will give two contacts. One is for uh, the leader of these few settlers that are already on the place, and I know there is my second on command. Just get in contact with her, and she can lead you to the uh, to the uh, leader of the settlers. Uh, he's a retired uh, marine, so just likes to explore and hunt. So not always easily be uh, reachable. Hmm. I will keep that in mind. Do you, uh, do you, the investors will be quite happy with this. And well, oh right, before I forget, uh, uh, how are mining, uh, well, resource extraction rights in general handled? Hmm. Uh, we did, don't have them properly defined yet, but as per the uh, pioneer spirit, as long as it's outside of the already uh, claimed area, if you find something, you have the right to it, unless it's by someone of the superior in the void engineer says it's must they must need it for some specific reasons. Ex- ex- excellent. Uh, this will suit my clients just fine. Oh well. All right. So, I say, uh, are there any other uh, things you that just I don't know farming? Uh, I haven't like properly talked about this. Uh, actually, uh, who is taking care of the uh, taking care of the farming? Um, uh, are you going? To, are they? Are you going to be using uh, void engineers to farm, or will you be uh, relying on some other conventions for this? Because usually, uh. Uh, uh, well, usually just uh, falls under the prerogative of the progenitors. Well, uh, I'm considering calling uh, some progenitors. I myself was a former progenitor, but uh, I'm also in the mind that uh, due to the lack of manpower, uh, for now it's me and uh, a, pro- a progenitor here on a series that is working, uh, Mr. What is the name of the poll? Mr. Mr. Kasper Dolet- Doletsky. Um, he's with us uh, right now. Uh, he's inside of the ship. We are for now taking care of the farming operations. But uh, we have future future plans considering we already have uh, lots of people on cities that are interested in automation and production of drones. We already have some mining drones. I don't see... Uh, I see that in a very near future uh, we are going to have our own farming drones to automate the farming production. Uh, I see. That's uh, very cost efficient um, if uh, you can set it up. Well then, um, there's uh, these mining drones. Um, mm. Well, how, how, how are their production values? Do you have any uh, technical data on them? The, the, the spec, so to speak. Uh, that is with me. Mr. Hyde is the one that developed them. Yes. Um, so Rodolfo, he just wants to ask for the details of the mining droids, right? Yes. He wants to know. Uh. Uh. Yeah. He he wants to know how how well they work essentially. How well they're working. Yeah. How well. Um. At the moment, well, on the first, well, on the first variant, 
simple body, simple AI, five hours battery life. Currently digging up gold within the around Halani base. And roughly 22 of them in existence currently. Mm hmm. I see. Slow but steady growing. I see. I see. Well, I could have. It's possible to purchase uh, some of those uh, mining droids. Or perhaps uh, have them built. Um, we could probably work. It could probably be arranged. It could okay. probably be arranged. Of course, it would be better to compensate you for this. So, uh, uh, we uh, wish to, uh, well, perhaps uh, have them locally sourced, uh, or and not just have it bring everything in. It's a bit tricky for yeah. us uh, to bring in resources uh, as it is, and uh, well, if you can't bring it in. If you can extract them locally, that would be perfect. Mm -hmm. Not as a uh, hide the like nods, it's like really the big issue is just um really the parts. They only come in so often. Mm. We do have a deal going on with um another syndicate trying to get trying to bring more pits, but at the moment, um, you know, it's been the final. It's been finalised. So I just need to wait for the shipments. Let's see. <coughs> well, if uh, uh, just remember that we are willing to buy uh, those uh, some of those mining droids. So uh, if we can get our construction venture up and running. Okay. And well, any uh, anything else? Yes, uh, just just remember another person you should try to get in contact uh, is Mister. It's John Bowie, right? I always forget his name. Uh, yeah, 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 Richard is the evil one. Yeah, uh, Mister. John Bowie is another cross const uh, construct manager uh, on. Here on series and uh, he, he was working on uh, via viable uh, morale faci morale improvement facilities and uh, to locals and uh, void or engineer operatives in general. In Gribnoi, you could also approach him to see if he has uh, any ideas or uh, see if anything can work with him. Hmm. Morale improvements, huh? I think I, mm, I have a possible angle for this. Well, I guess I will approach him ab about it. Uh, might be good uh, to perhaps uh, expand the recreation facilities, although it might be hard to get uh, the initial investment back given the low density. Well, that's uh, one way or another an idea. Uh, thank you for this information. This will be quite useful. I'll send him T3 contacts. Alright. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Booker? Of course you can. Uh, let me just go on my character sheet notes, because I know I wrote this down. Yeah, the one about the ship. Yeah. How did you require this ship in such short notice? Oh, uh, well, that's actually quite an interesting story. Um, well, when I came into office uh, this morning, mm -hmm. I got a surprisingly caught in by my superior. And uh, it turns out that... Uh, and that uh, he apparently got contacted by someone uh, high up in the Void Engineers. I believe they are called... Uh, um, the let me think... Uh, something about exploration. I can't quite think of the... Uh, uh, the, the, 
the, the data salad that they uh, did. Mm -hmm. No. Well, uh, ah, right, the EPB, no, no, the EPCC, that was it. Um, and they were willing to, uh, well, uh, give us a ship, uh, and the, and the crew for, <coughs> for a little bit, uh, no. the, the, the maximum duration of the, uh, of this assignment is uh, seven days, but uh, I think that should be enough uh, time to at least get an initial, uh, initial assessment uh, going. So we are more than happy to agree with this. Okay. My curiosity is sated. It is? Okay. Uh, well. A bit unusual that the Voyager isn't attack co contact us like this. Usually they uh, try to keep us out of uh, a lot of the uh, space uh, space related business. But uh, it's a nice change of pace. Perhaps uh, the your leadership uh, has changed a little bit after the dimension anomaly. You never know. Maybe my uh, my presentation made good rounds and good impression with the superiors. It actually, it was quite impressive, even I have to say so, Mr. Vicious Love. Perhaps, uh, uh, I will be, uh, uh, okay, just making me more excited for that, uh, for the presentation later down the line. Alright, uh, so, uh, anything else in terms of projects? Well, for now, is that uh, everything uh, we have? We can talk more uh, after we are done with the operation we are planning. Should be just one, two, two days at most. Uh, I can meet you and we can talk more as we uh, go around. Uh, and I, uh, we can talk in my base or something like that uh, if you have a, as you have the time. Mm -hmm. I should be, uh, I should be available, and uh, well, I guess I should give you my content info as well. Uh, this is my uh, short, uh, uh, well, this, this is uh, the shortest way to reach me. Everything else uh, usually goes uh, d directly to my secretary, and my secretary is uh, back on Earth. Not quite ideal, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed. <coughs> and well, um, then there's a last con last uh, my last concern for today before I will head out. Uh, what about uh, security itself? My uh, there there were there was still some unease uh, amongst the investors <coughs> about uh, about uh, some ongoing warfare. We have not uh, exactly heard much. But uh, we have uh, we have right here commission, and uh, well, it doesn't sound like uh, it's too much of a threat. It uh, it could uh, pose a, a hindrance to operations, uh, which uh, eventually could drive cost up and profits down. Indeed, uh, for now we are doing. Uh extermination program with the natives, but due to the uh, unexpected large size of Gribino, it's taking some time. But we are on a low operation, we are only using one tank to exterminate them, but uh, for now the uh, security... Uh, what's Domino's position? Security the, manager? The, he the head of security, Tristan yeah. Cooper. Mm. Yeah. For now the head of security, he went to uh, the Gribnoi with his ship is a very uh, good uh, warship. Uh, it's called uh, the Orion. Quality, quality ship. And uh, he also has the support of one of my uh, 
my small uh, fighter shuttle and I believe with that uh, very soon they will do a complete clear of, of that place. Uh, if you have any extra doubts, uh, ask Mr. Uh, Neto Campos. He will be uh, under in the near future he will be being the responsible for the security of uh, Gribinoi. Uh, he, he only missing uh, one operation uh, to uh, restore us the, his body condition. I'm planning to do it uh, in the next few days. I just recently got the uh, sciences necessary to do the operation on him. So we shouldn't soon take the position. And uh, if you have anything further you wanted to question, on that, just it, this would be the contact of the entire series. Uh, security manager just get in contact with him okay excellent uh, I will do that I will indeed do that uh, and yeah thank you very much for your time I will be uh, uh, I will be uh, now heading to my new job uh, assignment for a few days oh yeah. Um. Well, I also heard uh, that you have. Uh, <laughs> did you have uh, quite a reputation, Mister Mister Stanek? Uh, would you be uh, <coughs> would you be so uh, kind as to uh, well, perhaps uh, do a few upgrades on me uh, once once the time arrives. If I uh, hear you have uh, done a great job on uh, <coughs> on a certain on a certain crew of uh, Iteration X members a little back uh, a little while ago. Yes, yes, uh, that's true. Uh, I could do that for you. We can discuss a uh, proper payment later. And that uh, brings me another question. Uh, Separate business from the whole Gribinoi Auto related. Uh, just now, uh, this iteration X uh, people, I uh, the, the the upgrades. Uh, they just recently finally sent me the finished version of uh, a product we've been working for for the last few months. But uh, if you are you and your people are interested uh, in getting cheap troops. Uh, I have this project that I'm developing. It's called the Gribnoi Grants. Uh, you can, as you can see on my presentation later, on Gribnoi there was this uh, mushroom uh, sentient species. Well, sentient, they were pretty limited. But there was this mushroom species that have a very high capability of regeneration. I, I took one of them, did a uh, not uh, not regeneration, uh, the production. I took one of them. I did uh, some experiment. Did the uplifting made uh, made much. You will probably meet her. Uh, she works with me in the base, and with uh, her as a base, I developed uh, a way to mass produce soldiers. Uh, we already have one ready. He still needs to go through some conditionings, but he's already predisposed for that. I can, uh, here still would be the information for them. I sent the, uh, the page about the statistics of the Gribbonite Grant. Uh, I read uh, uh, another syndicate, uh, Mr. Futao. Uh, he's needing a, a production facility here, and he already did, uh, he's doing some preliminary productions of the mind control ships used on these uh, troops. So it's still on uh, alpha phase, but I believe that. Uh, very soon we can start mass producing them and uh if you know anyone is interested in very cheap troops uh, just get in contact with me oh that sounds interesting very interesting ah i think hmm. i like uh looks at you uh, for a second like right straight in the eyes and says uh, i might know someone i might there are some 
Hmm. I think I ended up against the form in my head. Uh, a very interesting one. Um, but uh, first, uh, let me ask her, uh, where do you exactly produce uh, those uh, those uh, grip knight runs? Uh, for now, I'm producing them on my base. You can even see the production, but uh, they're very interesting creatures. Uh, they're produced by spores. Uh, it let's say it's a spore infection. Uh, I believe saying anything more is a bit restricted by avoid engineer uh, informations. You can try to ask my superiors for the reports on that. I don't know how public the information is. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's say that every three days I can make uh, uh, one Gribinoi grant if I have uh, one bo uh, human boy's body sized. A quantity of biomatter and that is without uh, any sciences to accelerate that's their natu natural uh, development uh, time that's quite impressive um hmm I'm maybe I'm leading a uh, I'm leading myself too much out the window here but uh, would you be interested uh, to acquire uh, proper facilities for this kind of work and uh, perhaps we will need to, uh, well, uh, to, uh, well, house another project in the same, same facility. We see, see we are in a bit of a, in a bit of a problem. Uh, the progenitors, they have, uh, well, they've usually assisted us in testing certain products on uh, living subjects. However, until, uh, however, recently we have, uh, they have voice some more objections let's just say that to some of those nothing uh, illegal by the unit standards of course but uh, <coughs> but uh, something that uh, might harm the test subjects in the process and uh, now we're looking for 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 per both uh, a place and personnel leading personnel I might add that is able to uh, oversee any uh yeah any any tests testing projects we have a quite a wide variety of products that need to be tested and uh and to be frank uh, we think uh, it's uh, not secure to count on two generators uh, at large uh, for that anymore wait wait did did i hear that the progenitor were questioning the morality of it Yes. What? Yeah, he would just sigh. <sighs> yes, yes. That, that's that's why I decided to eventually join the Void Engineer. Uh, some of my progenitor colleagues um, many times are. It's, <sighs> I think it's because many of them were uh, doctors. You know how they have the uh, whatever old tattoos. It makes them a bit uh, a bit soft. But yeah, uh, we can. We can, uh, after we are done with it, we can have a private chat to uh, talk about more of the, this business. I'm very interested on what you're offering. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well done. Um, <coughs> I do think uh, that's the most fruitful then. And, uh, well, of course, uh, for the... Um, for this other project, if we if we get you the proper uh, facility for it, uh, well, we c you would also expect, of course, uh, some compensation for it. Uh, not too much, of course, but enough to cover our investments and uh, then and then, then some. Uh, of course, it's expected. Uh, we we can possibly see on making a, a joint venture or something like that. <clears throat> All right, that sounds uh, very good to me. Thank you uh, for your time once again. I do believe uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, something uh, going, and for the rest, uh, well, I guess I will go and uh, talk to my colleagues.
uh, and uh, put some plants down. We are, um, I think we are on a on a uh, precipice of uh, great things. I would usually uh, raise maybe a champagne glass, but uh, these uh, environments uh, don't really uh, lend themselves to it. Yes, uh, it's one of the downsides on being in space, but it's very quiet, good to, for relaxing. That really is. I can... Uh, I can imagine. And uh, well, I know I need to really get going. We have uh, have a tight schedule. And, uh, you know, he heads in, into back, back into the ship. And the uh, marines file back in. And uh, you hear all we intercom. Uh, good, uh, good day, gentlemen. We'll see each other soon. But I just look at Hyde and I just sit down to him. Well, uh, Mr. Hyde, I believe I'm going to turn myself into a very rich man. Yes, indeed you are. And I do remember, though. It just depends if Tristan can live up to his promise of trying to fix the place. I, I believe I uh, I can uh, myself directly intervene if he's not uh, doing enough. And um, I normally wouldn't say this, but that was really, really quite impressive of how you dealt with um, Griffinoy. Griffinoy. Yeah, Griffinoy. Sorry. Griffinoy. <laughs> How you dealt with your dealings on on the place? That's quite good. It's one of the only rarest times. I actually am very thankful that I did gave you that base. Indeed, I must thank you for that. I always look out for my friends at the end of the day. As we get up, you know the best part of that, uh, if the bunch of syndicates build up very good infrastructure there, uh, one threat no arrives here, we can uh, seize everything in name for uh, in name to in name of fighting threat no. So mm -hmm. uh, we get everything for free. Mhm. Mm ah, those syndicates—they don't know what they're putting their money into. <laughs> well. As it gets in the car, be, as it gets to the rover, be like, yeah, if we do stop somewhere, can you use your magic with um, Prime 5 to uh, get rid of some of my paradox? Um, I need some, uh, fuck, what's the name for, fancy name for the content sense? Uh, primal energy. Yeah, I need some primal energy for that, um, but we try, uh, Actually, I'm very heavy on my paradox, but I never bothered fixing it. Hmm. We'll probably figure something out when we get back to our bases. We so just need uh, to kill some things. I can turn creatures living or dead into energy, don't worry. <sighs> Gosh. I'm not gonna lie to you, Vyshislav. But Griffin or um, your place, and now this. Why do I have a suspicious feeling that there is that this is a central hub for uh, planetary exploration? Well, it's seems, it's a blessed like, asteroid. That's for sure. It seems that it's like it's been maybe it's. Maybe it's been blessed by destiny or something. <laughs> As high chuckles. But uh, we better get back on the road because uh, that new wonderful place for that name. I uh, typed it out. Oh, is that name Dorma I gave you? Oh, right, right, right. Because it was a beautiful name. Yes, it was. Okay, what there it is. Okay. High Kentucky. Ah. Uh. Goddamn. 
But yeah, uh, I no. think, yeah. Uh, no, 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 don't worry, it's just my door open, and for some reason I'm on press, on, um, not press at all, for some reason on my Discord. Hmm. Let's see. Well, one way or another, I think it's a good point to end up the session. Uh, very productive, I got uh, finally done what I wanted to get done. And uh, hopeful, not yeah. Not gonna lie, it was very productive, cause you know, like, I'm just, like just looking at um, vicious love, well, hide is somewhat proud. It's just like ah, finally, he's getting the attention he deserves. The right attention? We'll find out later. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's only got some attention. That's for fucking that's some reason. Yeah, I think that's phase one of my evil plan done. I need to note down my evil plan properly on my evil plan folder. Just <laughs> wait, just wait until um, I can finally get the sis droid ready. That's that's when the game changes. No, I I already want the Clone Wars. No, that's when I get free construction workers. Mm, yeah, that's that's a good point. But that yeah, by the way, uh, Bradomer. Ac actually, Bacon, um, your mushroom troops are also free construction workers. Yes. Because they but... have that one dot of technology. Indeed. But hey, uh, Bradomer, uh, this counts as a session, right? So can I roll Destiny? <laughs> could I, could I, could I be really cheeky, Rodolma, and roll metal one at the area we are to see if there's any gold or any minerals or on? Um, uh, might be next session. Like this is actually like uh, which, uh, which kind of like near near enough uh, for the portal for if if there's anything here, you uh like uh, we'll go towards the same thing. So I don't know. Uh, I don't decide it now. I'm too tired for that and. Uh, <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, just just let him rid on me, you know, he doesn't use it that lot. Yeah, I like I only <laughs> learned about that <laughs> on the last five sessions. Oh. Oh you know, he doesn't that. use it that a lot, rid on me, sure. But, um, no, I mean, I don't know, not no Destiny, but, uh, let's say, like, I think, like, nature would apply still. Yeah. Okay. Visionary, uh, yes. Uh, you get one vicious love. Ah, uh, nice. Let's see, uh, what about Hyde, Barry? Yeah, mine's, um, director. Hmm. So, at first I was directing the conversation at first, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's what, uh, director reads. I know, but I'm trying to stretch it. Uh, let's see, it's... Is it here? Ascension Warrior, come on. No oh, fuck, it's not this. It's the other one. Either way, but either way, next session, I can't wait to find out what's on the other, the other side of our, of my lovely little blue hike Antarctic world. Mm -hmm. Then before it's all trees. If it's all true, I will be fucking surprised. <laughs> uh, it'll be like, wait, why was it giving me wrong signals? What's going on? <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure you'll, you'll love it, huh? So let's see. Regain willpower when you lead a group to accomplish a challenging task. Hmm. Even, even stretching it, you didn't lead anyone today. I couldn't lead anybody today because uh, this was Vicious Dolph's moment. Yeah, that's uh, true. The only time I probably did was through the contract, which I ju which I basically went up to Bacon and just told him told him what would happen if he were to fail. Like that's the only time I probably took charge is when looking at the extreme details of the contract. You know what I feel generous, so like take one. Oh, thank you, Rodolmo. It's not like I'm trying to make a bullshit justification, you know? Yeah, I, I know what you're doing, but uh, 
It succeeded. Congrats. Yes. Okay. I guess it's time to uh, say goodbye to the bots. Goodbye, bots, and uh, goodbye, bot one one, bot two two, bot three three. That's. I think it's only two bots. I know. Oh no, three bots actually. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. I wasn't even looking at the chat, boy. I was just guessing. <laughs> <laughs>